Mr. Speaker, permission to speak on the most sacred oath. Representative Reinbold. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I took a solemn oath to defend and uphold the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Alaska, the state constitution. My responsibility is to these sacred documents and to the people of Alaska, particularly my constituents in Eagle River. These bonds are far stronger than any unwritten rules that I have formed here in Juneau. And if there is ever a conflict between my oath to the Constitution and to my constituents versus the forces here in Juneau, I will choose the former. I will uphold my oath to the Constitution and my commitments to the constituents who sent me here. Making difficult decisions. Eagle River sent me here to make tough decisions necessary to secure the future of Alaska. As a fiscal conservative, I am dedicated to creating a sustainable budget and to secure Alaska's future as my former caucus states on their website. Alaska's fiscal situation is masked by a false sense of security, cushioned by our savings accounts. We must remember that as our oil revenues diminish, it is the men and women of this great state who will bear the cost of big, unsustainable government. A vote of principle. When I joined the House majority, I embraced the guiding principles that we collaboratively set to live within our means, to save for future generations, to identify the core functions of government and, and to set priorities, and to develop a long-term plan for Alaska. I'm still hoping to see this. It was precisely these closely held principles that caused me to vote against a budget that simply does not reflect the crises at hand nor reflect the principles of the Missouri Caucus. Moving forward, empowering Alaskans. In the weeks to come, I intend on empowering the people of Alaska with knowledge as I pursue my legislative priorities. I will continue toward grassroots education reform. I was in Sitka yesterday. It was amazing to see almost 100 people show up grassroots level to reform education. And by the way, that was paid out of personal funds. And every speaker was paid on, didn't cost the state any money. It was all volunteers that, that spoke. I will seek opportunities to work across party lines to limit government spending in order to ensure that we have essential government services in the time ahead. Today, I put forth House Joint Resolution, Resolution 19 to cap the constitutional budget reserve 10% each year. If this fiscal crisis lingers, we need to be able to provide essential services to Alaskans in the future to come. And I ask all parties to join me and all people to sign on to that resolution. I've learned that the House leadership can cut budgets almost by 75% within hours if you make them mad. I'm asking Alaskans, Alaskans to call people and, and really encourage them to get involved and take these budget, this budget crisis seriously. And I do believe people in this, in this body want to do that. And I'm hoping to see that in the very near future. I look forward to working together to create a more transparent government, which is responsive to the great people of Alaska. And I'm looking forward to working with each and every one of you in this, in this room to provide a brighter future for Alaska.